This is Matt from Dr. Stubbs. Hey guys. Lady Lega, Big Six Beard Oil, Fisticuffs Beard Oil, Lady Lega Beard Oil. Ooh, Bear Cat, Shave Oil for Hair. Shave Oil. Oh, it looks good. Olive oil, grape seed. Do you say jojoba or jojoba? Smells good. I don't think that's where you meant to put it. <laughs> Feeling a bit, uh... Bushy? No, I just had a trim the other day. I started trimming and then I cut that way and then I got cut there and then I cut there and then I had, had a big moustache and then I cut that off and I, for sake, I almost shaved the whole thing off but I didn't. Thank Christ, because Dr. Stubbs comes around, the beard man, want to be having a beard. Anyway, he just bowled around to say hi. The boat's locked and loaded, ready to roll, and then Matt turned, Matt turned up, so I've got to stay here for another 10 minutes. But we're on the road, we're going to Jackson's Bay. Nice to meet you. Yep, you too, man. Good luck on fishing today. Cheers. All right, Matt can bugger off. Frenchie, you can start bloody making noise now. Bye. <laughs> See you later, mate. See you, mate. So this is our, our woofer here. He's water black. Where are you? There he is. Julian. This is Julian. Hi. I just scored this water blaster from Bunnings, it's awesome. And he's water blasting the port. He's like my mini me. <laughs> we took him on a mission in the jet boat yesterday, but we didn't film any of it, sorry. He's water blasting the porch. Hey dogs, you alright? And then we've got to stain it and do all the rest of that carry on. So yeah, this is the stain. Bloody expensive. Jesus, like 200 bucks for a bucket of stain. Look at that crap. Anyway, so we're off down, pick up Barney, Fraser and Ash are coming as well. Oh, the man with no face and Ash are coming as well. And gonna pick up Barney and Franz, Franz Joseph, Franz Joseph, and then we're off to Jackson's Bay. So we should get there just before dark, hopefully in time for a fish. Fingers crossed. So old Hooks over here has been cooking those bloody potatoes for about an hour and a half now. <laughs> Getting smoke in his eyes and stirring them and he's burned half of them because he chucked them on the fire. And he didn't stir them for about five minutes. So he's been cooking the damn things for two hours now. Half of them are burnt and finally he's gone, fuck it, I'm hungry. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna steam them. And he poured about two litres of water in there. And then he tipped the water out into the fire, put the fire out, tipped half of the spuds into the fire. And that, so there's ash in all the potatoes. It's just a, a shambles. It's a disaster. Yeah. At least it thinks she's when, simmering yeah. Yeah. Before that water will boil off and like. I know. What are your dinner prospects looking like, Ash? Not too bad. No, in all honesty, mate. We, we filled up at lunchtime. But yeah, good on you. A beer, eh? Ranfurlies. These boys drink Ranfurlies. So I mean, look at the state of it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It actually doesn't look too bad on camera. I'll get a close up once you take it out. That's just all ash and charcoal and shit. <laughs> Me and Barney had, uh, what do we have? No, Me goring. Chicken barbecue noodles, man. They are awesome. Oh, we also had tuna and cheese and crackers. And these grease monkeys here are going to eat burnt potatoes. Boiled burnt potatoes. Washed down with more potatoes and cheese bloody out 20 minutes later and they're still not cooked these boys are getting pretty hungry old hooks over there reckons he's going to save the day by chopping a few onions up and chucking them in but <laughs> he just chucked a stick at me dinner's pretty much rooted for the night yeah I, I can give you a look now the fire's died down because it's been so long i can actually get close It actually looks pretty good now. Look, you nailed it, bro. You nailed it. Have you got any tomato sauce? No. Like you need some butter in there, bro. Do you want a hunk of butter? <laughs> Been waiting for three hours, freezing our asses off for these boys to cook the potatoes. And now that they're cooked, we're just gonna load the fire up, warm up, go to bed.
small problem. We got to put the bloody bun in, didn't I? Not the first time I've done this and probably not the last either. Oh, no, sweet, eh? Unreal. Chicken in one hand, and he's not actually. I just got him to hold the reel while I grabbed the camera. So, here's a funny story for you fellas. We're out here last, and uh, my mate goes, Oh, the bloody, it's a bloody left hand reel because it was on backwards. I'd stuck it on the rod backwards, so I sent it back up to Marine Deals to replace it for a right hand reel. And old Richard rings up and he goes, Um, this reel you sent up that's supposed to be left hand is actually a right handed reel. I mean, no, it's not the left handed one. He said, No, no, I got it right in front of me. It's a right handed reel. And we're cracking on laughing. Found like a bit of a dozy bastard. So we send it back down, and it's, yeah, sure enough, it's a right hand reel. I just didn't check. Bloody hell. Amateurs. Oh, we can't find the bloody fish. We've had one drop, no bite, so now we're moving to another spot. What do you call them, mate? Oh, 10, 10 kilo blue nose. There we go. Sweet. I'm happy with that. Going slack. You must be drifting a bit. 10 minutes later, still cranking. I think Ash has actually called Barney as well. <laughs> Barney's getting a free ride here. He's got any weight on there. No, it's pretty, pretty coming up easier than normal. Good. One of the schooly ones, you might have hit that on the way down maybe. Have you got it bro? Because those, now those, those things bloat when they get above a certain depth, they just fuck out. So Barney had one on too, and while Barney and Ash have been untangling their line, a hook has floated up right next to the boat. <laughs> and old Hooks goes, hey look, oh, look at that, right there, and a half hooker floated to the surface. So Barney's got a sea perch and a hooker on the end of his line while he's been untangling from Ash. That's, 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 that's hard case. This one's a bit bigger than our little blue nose too. This Jesus, look at the size of that sea patch. <laughs> Are we going to keep them? Bud? Not a bad little fella. Should we eat it? Yeah, mate, eat it. It's a good size. Yeah. Is there a size limit for blue nose? I don't know. I guess Barry will tell us when we roll in and he checks our catch and goes, Right, that's it. You're in the shit now. Mine's swimming up, all the boys are on. Better keep, oh, I've put this bloody camera down, keep the weight on. Otherwise you'll spit the hook. Oh yeah. It's not a heck of a lot of weight, might just be a pup blue nose actually. Oh, it feels like a shark, better not be. Oh, what is it? Hey! Another pucker. Mine got off, I was too busy videoing and not putting constant pressure on and it spat the hook. Barney's still on. Awesome. Double trouble. Yep. That's some north of the warship right there. That's gonna pull in the big pockets. A shark on the other line. I had a cuda with a, like a little, looks like a little marco, was it? Say, it was a small one, yeah. So the, the shark was eating the cuda. Let's just, let's just chomp the tail off it. Look at it. Leave it, leave the cuda on it, bro. Look at it. Oh, there no, it is. There circling. it is. It's a little marco. It's still circling. Yeah. I better put one in. I, think I should I have chopped my sinker off. I think I've got a small one on mine. I took the whole tail off. Damn it! I had a cuda on there. All right. Maybe I had another fish and a cooter took it and I'm pretty sure that was a small Marco come up, took half my cooter. 
So I'm going to try to hook the Marco up. What have we got here, Josh? Got an octopus. And for those of you fellas that didn't see the last octopus I killed, I'm going to show you on this one how to kill an octopus. First of all, I've got to find its eyes. Here's its eyes. There we go. Dead as pro. So the trick is, if you put your mouth over its eyes, you can find its little tiny brain behind there. And you just crunch its brain with your teeth and it kills them pretty much instantly. This Lucky is awesome. <laughs> Try to look a bit more gumby bro like you were before. Do that sideways reel you were doing. Oh, now you're looking like a pro. What? As soon as the camera's on, eh? Get that steady pressure on Barney. Give him some advice, fellas. Oh, mate, the uppercuts. Those are good bloody chips. Yes, they gave me free chips. But they're also extremely good chips. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Biggest fish for Barney. How's that, mate? Shot. Give us a chair, bro. Yeah. yeah. Boy. What do you reckon you got bro? I reckon I got another pocket and I reckon this one's going to be just as big as Barney's or slightly bigger. It's got a lot of weight to it. She's putting the bloody herd on. I haven't strapped on the gimbal. $15 gimbal I got from Marine Deals. It's shit sliding all over the place. I know it's 15 bucks now. Maybe I've got it upside down. I don't blimmin' know. Don't get one of these shaped gimbals though. See the shape? Maybe, shape. maybe it's a left handed one. Oh you just popped out mate. It is. Lucky that wasn't your banjo cord. Bloody hell yeah, well Barney just reeled his fish in and I was filming and then my rod bloody buckled over, it was in the rod holder, I thought it was going to snap the tip off it. You should send it back and tell them it's a left handed one. It's a left handed gimbal, I should eh, attention Richard, <laughs> he's holding me a left handed gimbal, <laughs> gimbal bow. Oh, what do we got here Josh? Boom, fuck. Double whammy. Did anyone mark that spot? Uh, yeah, yeah, You did. Sweet. Barney's on. Fraser's on. Ash is still trying to rig his line up that the shark took. Whoa, Jesus, mother of Mary. This thing's got a bit of grunt. Swimming in Harpook at the moment. Look at the bottom of the boat. There's bloody fish everywhere sliding around. It's nodding. Oh, no. Fraser's got some nods. He might have a shark. That's not a good That's not a good thing when you're deep sea fishing for Harpook or his big nods. I got busted off by a fairly decent shark before. Barney did as well. Man, I'm over this already. My arm's really sore. I'm just sitting back, winding. My my hickeringy bloody electric reel didn't work. It worked for for about half of the first wind, and then the PVC pipe I had just bent. So I'm gonna need some alterations. Oh, no, what is it? Another stinking pucker. Hey. Oh, delicious, delicious eating. And my bluefin hooks, we ran out of half of the hooks, so it chipped into my bluefin hook stash. Seeing as we're not bluefinning. We're we just gonna drop here again. What's that? Are you gonna reel your one in or we're we just gonna drop here again, bro? Uh, What's up? Yeah. Uh, I'm, still got I'm, I'm trying to film and reel at the right, same I'll time. just drop here, eh? Like what's we're not we we haven't far. That far. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Drop yeah, it in, right. Barney. Just lost his fish as it got close to the surface he was cursing and carrying on and then we seen it pop up about 100 meters away so he pulled over in the boat picked it up oh it looked way bigger from back there yeah. barney's caught it he's got some gin and tonics on board i think we've got enough half hooking out to last us a couple of days at least so we're going to bang it back in, cash and tear a key, gut these pucker, try to get them on ice before they all go off. We've got big chili bins on the back of the uterus, but we just don't have any on the boat. Boats, chili bins are full. We haven't had any of those orange things for a while. Yep. Get in there, bro. Having fun, Barney? Untangling line? Yeah.
not quite as good as burnt spuds. Yeah. Fishing time, mate. Fishing time. I don't know. Do we even need? Do we even need to go fishing today? That's the question. Because we've got a shitload of fish already. We're out of here. We're not going fishing today. We've made the executive decision to go home and clean up the fish. We're happy with what we've got. Would have been nice to catch a few Cherokee, but uh, yeah, we're just going to quit while the quitting's good. And what a cracker morning down here in South Westland. Sun rising up over the ocean, but it's just gone northwesterly and we think the ocean's gonna cut up. Ran out of bloody gas on the way home, didn't I? Seen the old fuel light and I was like, oh, it'll be sweet. I've been sweet every time before, but with the weight of the boat, not so sweet this time. Been hanging out here for about 40 minutes, giving the boat a cut of polish, polishing the dashboard, the seats. Oh. Hey, the cat's back. Hey, puss. You've been all right. That's got to be one of the easiest sauces ever to be made. Julie made it the other night. He cooked us fish and then he made the sauce and it was so good. I said, mate, you've got to do that again so I can video you doing it because it was so bloody good. And all you do is you get the onions and olive oil. We didn't actually have any olive oil. So we cooked them in butter, cook the onions, reduce it down. Oh no, sorry, cook the onions. <laughs> when they're starting to get, go clear, then you put vinegar in a little bit of cider vinegar, a little bit of white vinegar and then reduce that right down and then when it's reduced down almost to nothing smack a heap of butter in there, a shitload of butter if I can say that and take it off the heat and then you just melt the butter put it to the side and just keep it slightly warm so the butter doesn't go hard and that's your sauce, there it is, you can put a bit of lemon rind in it and even squeeze a bit of lemon juice after it's off the heat, very important if you do put lemon juice in don't put the lemon juice in while it's on the heat, wait till it's off the heat and he's just seasoning it now with Spice Craft Original Salt Rocks. Really, really good seasoning. And he's putting a little bit of lemon pepper seasoning in there. Or you can use a real thing, lemon zest and ground pepper. For the recipe the other night, Julian actually used harpuka fillets. And today, he's going to cook harpuka steaks. Harpuka steaks for breakfast. How awesome is that? Thank you. For cooking the fish, Julian's using butter and oil because oil has a higher flash temperature than butter, but butter browns the meat. So if you just use oil, the meat won't brown up nicely and it won't add, add that nice nutty flavour that butter gives it, but if you just use butter, it'll burn and go slightly bitter. So we're using butter and oil. Yep. Before the burning, just put on the top, that gets the oil everywhere. There you go, so we don't have any olive oil, but if we did, Julian's just informed me that he'd drizzle a bit on now, just before it finishes cooking, and then the olive oil will help make a sauce with the nice little burnt crusty bits on the bottom of the fish. Delicious, really good. If you're cooking a large amount of fish, this doesn't work so well because you have to 
add the olive oil before you add the next batch of fish. So you almost have to cook one batch of fish, add the olive oil, make the sauce, and then clean the pan, bring it up to heat and do it again. So Dad. for small amounts it works really well, but not for large amounts. Dad. Jack's just informed me it's white bait season in a couple of days. I haven't even got all my gear ready, I haven't got my screens and my nets ready yet. It's kind of snuck up on me all in a hurry, I've been so busy. I haven't got my white bait season stuff ready, but I guess we're going to Westport today. I'm trying to smash this out really quickly and upload it before we go. So you guys get to watch it tonight, because it's Tuesday. Uh, we're going to Westport today, so live Q&A. Right now, I guess, after you've watched this, it'll be live Q&A. And then a couple of days when we get back, white bait season, except that we're going hunting. How's that work? We're going to have to go white baiting and fishing. I might take the jet boat down to South Western actually, boot down the Pringer and give you a bit of a look at the white baiters down there. That'll be the go. Oh, <laughs> it's good. Mmm, <laughs> harpoka. So this is a really quick and easy way to cook fish. Uh, the lemon flavours and the vinegary onion flavours and the salt and pepper. Super simple but extremely delicious. It's really, really good. And if you don't want to cook it, the fish in butter and oil, you can even just poach it. Just in a little tiny bit of water and a little bit of butter and steam it and poach it. And then it comes out this delicious poach sauce as well. And that's a much healthier way to cook than burning oil. But this browned up really, really nice, the harpook estates, and it's a, it's a great way to cook any kind of fish, not just harpook, you can cook any kind of fish in this way. Give it a bash. Cheers, and we'll catch up in a week. White baiting. <laughs>